Imagine two cars are travelling towards each other when they collide and start moving in opposite directions. Now, given the masses of the two cars, their velocities before the collision, and the velocity of one car after the collision, how can we find the other car's velocity after the collision? As you probably know, using the law of conservation of momentum, we can take a potentially daunting problem like this and turn it into simple algebra. Now that all seems pretty convenient, but how do we know it's true? Well, in truth, we didn't know it was true, or at least we couldn't prove why it was true. That was until the work of Emmy Neuter. Emmy Neuter was born in 1882 in the German town of Erlangen. She studied mathematics at university, and after finishing her doctorate at the age of 25, she would go on to work for seven years unpaid at the Mathematical Institute of Erlangen. While others in her field invited her to join the mathematics department at the University of Göttingen, the stigma against women in academia prevented her from being accepted. What's more, in 1933, anti-Semitic policies forced Neuter to give up her academic position in Germany and travel to the US to continue her work in lecturing and research. However, despite these harsh setbacks, Neuter managed to make immense contributions to the field of maths and science. Using complex mathematics, she was able to show that the symmetry of the laws of physics under translation, rotation, and time proved the conservation of momentum, angular momentum, and energy respectively. This proof doesn't just give us peace of mind, however. On top of being useful for relatively simple problems like the one at the start, laws of energy and momentum conservation become even more important as physics gets more complicated. When empirical observation becomes increasingly difficult, it is the fundamental mathematics which helps us get a clearer picture, and that is the exact role played by Neuter's theorem.